Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. The dog decided to join. I wanted to share with you guys my pantry organization, which is right here. What? Um, I've actually been living with this pantry organization for probably about a good month now. I wanted to wait until it had been a little bit just to see if this worked for me, and I'm going to tell you it really does. Right now, we are all dealing with the coronavirus, and I will say that a lot of the things in my pantry are a lot of like ready-made meals, which I don't always have in my pantry, but I did stock up on stuff a while ago, and now I'm just kind of trying to like eat through it. So there's a lot of snacks. I don't need any judgment in the comments about the snackage, um, but let's go through everything. I'm gonna link everything down below that I purchased. I got everything. I'm pretty sure I got everything on Amazon, so it should be pretty accessible to you guys. And um, yeah, let's just get right into this. All right, so I have this really long, tall, deep pantry, and it kind of drives me a little bit batty because everything gets lost. Like back here, it just gets lost if I have a bunch of stuff, you know, like over here I have a bunch of stuff. So I got a bunch of longer bins. I couldn't find bins exactly the right size, but I think this, you know, does really well for what I need. And then if I do have any extra things, I can just kind of put them there. So let's start at the top. So at the top, I have all of my color-coded snacks, and yes, I color-coded all the snacks. So at the very, very top, those are all Skittles right there. And then these are M&Ms, these two are M&Ms. I have Goldfish, I've got more M&Ms, and then these are Raisinets. And then I have some more neutral colored snacks. So I have Muddy Buddies, caramel corn, I've got some banana chips, some crack, like two things of crackers, and some pretzels. And right behind here, can't see it very well, but I do have some mugs and I've got some other things behind there, some more back stock of items. And then I did kind of color code this as well, if you can kind of see. So it kind of goes from red you know, towards the rainbow. It's what I kind of tried to do. Um, but I've got, you know, some prepared meals, some dried soups, um, more prepared meals over here. I've got some sauces, like my two favorite pasta sauces, pickles. I love pickles. I know some people out there hate pickles. Um, I've got a bunch of tuna fish. I noticed when cleaning out my pantry that I had way too much tuna fish, and this is not all of the tuna fish that I have. I actually have more in my fridge. So, I'm good on tuna fish. And then I have just like some random things. So I have like some A1 and then I also have um, some peanut butter back here. So just some random stuff. And then right here, I've got some soup. I've got some like Chef Boyardee things. I've also got these really yummy Philippine dried mangoes uh, from Aldi, one of my favorites. And then over here, I've got some packets of oatmeal and then some crackers as well. And then in here, I have just like open bags of chips and crackers and things like that that didn't really fit up here. And then I have over here, I've got four of these little guys of cereal. So that really works for me. Down at the bottom, I wanted to put my like less used things in there. So um, I just have a little rolling bin and inside the bin is just extra like bags of chips and pretzels and things like that. So this is it for the main pantry, but I do want to share with you guys, oh, there's the dog over there. <laughs> I did wanna share with you guys a couple of other places that I decided to reorganize in my home as well. So this area is not as exciting, but it did need some cleaning out. Um, I did have some of this stuff over in the pantry I just showed, but now I'm really loving the way that all of this looks. So over on this side, I have all of my dry goods. So I have all my pasta, spaghetti, I have quinoa. I got these little labels as well online. I will link them for you guys. I've got some elbow noodles, some egg noodles, more pasta, more pasta. I've got some, you know, different rices. And then in the back, which you can't see very well, but in the back, I have just some back stock of things. I've got some chicken broth, which kind of goes with 
like the rices and the quinoa, you know, kind of boil that all together to make delicious noms. <laughs> and then over here, I'm not like a really good cooker baker person, so you know, sorry about that. <laughs> um, anyways, but I've got some like flaxseed, raisins, salt, and stevia, and then I've got like some sauces on this little turntable thing. And then we've got regular popcorn, microwave popcorn. I got some crackers and then some cashews. So yeah, this is not very exciting, but still um, an area that definitely had to have a major overhaul as well. I've got one little more area I wanna show you. So let's get into that. All right, and right next to where the dry goods live is this little section. On the bottom is kind of a hodgepodge of things. I have all of my medication as well as my dog's supplies and medication as well. Um, my medication is in that big box right there. And then, um, you know, I just pull them out when I need to. Um, also, all of this glassware is something that I had to consolidate. <laughs> I have all of these plastic bags, like single-use sandwich bags. I wanna get better about not using those, but again, I just wanna go through them. It's gonna be a while before I go through them just because I am currently working from home, so I don't really have a use for those at this time, but again, I don't wanna to toss them. So yeah, and then I have some other travel things up here. So I've got like mugs for coffee or tea, and then some more travel things. I also have a like lunch bag and then I've got more glassware up above. And just a little extra bonus. I did organize this recently. I know it's a drawer, but why the heck not? Why not show you anyways? Um, I got this spice drawer organizer, which you can make it I could make it as big as the drawer if I wanted to, but I wanted to house my knives in here as well, which like I said before, I'm not really a good cooker or baker person, so I don't have a ton of spices, but I do really like these little jars I got on Amazon, so everything is uniform. And then um, there's like little labels on them. So I put the little labels on of the things that I have. And then um, right underneath here, which you can't see, but underneath here is where all the labels are. So as I get more seasonings, I will put the labels on the jars because I have um, a few extra jars. So, and then I have the notorious Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. And um, I have some extras back there. But yeah, so, and then I have these, are these like Cuisinart things. You can, you know, they have a little protector on them, which I love. And again, not good at the cooker things, but whatever. And then I also have these little guys, like these little chip clips, which I love. And then these are just some random printed napkins, a little extra fancy. And then I've got a ton, like a ton of these little coasters, which I use all over my house. So if there are people over here, I will bust out all the coasters. So yeah. So yeah, that is a look at my pantry and a bonus drawer for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wore my rainbow shirt for this today. I got it from Target. I'll link it below if I can still find it. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed taking a look at how I organize my pantry. I do have an overflow area that I just created in my home. I am waiting on one piece to come in from Amazon and then I will actually be filming a organizational storage video on that um, and that's gonna be for like bigger things like big palettes of like Gatorade and like you know like the big bulky things that I might not be able to fit in my pantry or in my refrigerator something like that so um, that will be coming soonish so as soon as that happens I'll film a video about it so I hope you guys enjoyed the rainbow ways of my home. I'm really excited about this organization. I really, really enjoy it. And um, yeah, I've been living like this for at least a month now and it's been going really, really well and I have been utilizing all the organization. So it's just making my life so much easier, especially on these very insert, uncertain, no, uncertain times. So it's just very easy to go to the pantry and say, okay, that thing 
that tuna fish, I know that tuna fish can is blue and it's gonna be in there and if it's not, then I don't have any. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, if you wanna see more organizational videos, let me know what you wanna see in the comments down below. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs>